our art collection is colourful, fun. Um, I think each piece that we have uh, is designed to sort of capture the imagination and people walk in and feel that sense of something a little bit different. I'm Justin Hibbs, I'm a fine artist. Essentially I make site-specific installations and their environments. This, this piece of work is a kind of combination really of my own home garden, the kind of window grills of Mexico City and an imagined Bondi garden. So it's, it's like nothing I've made before. So my name is Oliette. I'm a painter based here in London. I'm very interested in depicting this sort of capitalist, consumerist culture. And um, yeah, my work has a very sort of a millennial and digital lens. This was a commission piece uh, for the restaurant. Um, I knew I wanted to make paintings that kind of um, made people feel fun and flirtatious whilst at the restaurant. So the colours in this work, I think they're intoxicating, they're deeply like, saturated and have like a bright, up uplifting hues. Kind of like a Bondi beach, beach party meets Baywatch meets the canon of art history. My name's uh, Susie and I started doing uh, street art and paste ups in 2007. My inspiration for the work here was all pop music related and I wanted to make um, three large pieces that were a bit like a 1970s pop magazine, the, the pages, and blow them up and, and collage them and, and paint over them. My name is Collageism. I'm an Australian artist. I make collage based work so my medium is collage but I work in multimedia. This location Ziggy Green the connection is with David Bowie. They wanted to make some work around album covers so um, yeah I went and bought a bunch of album covers in Soho oh, well, albums in Soho and then started collaging them. So the, the pink bear is like an alter ego and it was kind of born out of when I was doing CBT therapy. Um, so I was kind of looking for a happy memory to kind of clutch onto and I just had this memory from when I was a kid and that's kind of, it's grown out of that um, and it's kind of now the, the central figure in all my artwork. Hi, my name's Lucy Sparrow. I uh, make felt installations, which consist of smaller pieces. Uh, these are all handmade, and then I put it all together to make a display piece, an installation, uh, an ulterior world. And we're here at Bondi Green, which shows my felt collection of Australian food in an Australian food restaurant. My name is Peter Liversidge and I make work by writing proposals that describe work, so they're descriptive rather than being prescriptive. You know, the word hello is a greeting, it's about welcome and it's about, it's an introduction to an individual, whether that be, you know, just a, a general hello on the telephone, if you've seen them in the street or nice to meet you kind of thing. It's that kind of same realm of getting people together, which obviously having restaurants, that's their business, that's what they do. My name's Rosalind Davis and I'm an artist, a curator and now a garden designer for Daisy Green. Environments is something I already do. I see it as an extension of painting. So composition, scale, texture, colour, um, all of those things feed into my other artwork so it's quite a natural thing. Hi, my name's Gracie and I'm a London pop street artist. Most of my work is faceless to keep people guessing as to who it is, really just displaying key elements from a famous photo or a famous image. My name is Steph Burnley and uh, also known as Bonnie Pipe. I make mixed media collage using my photography. This particular piece, my inspiration uh, was the Barbican, the surrounding area, London Wall, the history of Daisy Green as well. Cruise in there and her. Coffee My name's Ant Hamlin. I'm a sculptor and installation artist. So for the Days of Green Clips, I created the Bloom sculpture behind us. Um, essentially, throughout the course of a restaurant visit, the flower heads bloom and wilt, um, which is sort of signifying of the way that they do in real life. Daisies will open in the morning and close at night, and I wanted to create that kind of perpetual optimism in a, in a space. I think the genuine friendship with the artists that we've formed over the years is something that's become really part of the Daisy DNA. 